drawing uh, that they put in here and it was been blocked off. It was, they knew what they were drawing. They, they were, they were telling everybody how they felt about this antiquity. Bullet holes, they used it for target practice. The final picture I want to show is Joshua tree damage. Now I know a lot about Joshua trees because we, in, where I live, where I had my home and still own quite a bit of property and searchlight. Um, that won't be taken, I'm sure. We have the most, one of the thickest Joshua forests in the world. Fuck that guy. These trees are so stunning. They grow about two inches a year. They, they, they last for up to 150 years. And uh, people don't understand these trees. They're so terrific. Um, they have been brutalized by these criminals. Uh, chop this one down. My staff said, well, maybe it's for firewood. Well, folks, you ever tried starting a fire with some cantaloupe? These are, these, you can't burn this. <clears throat> I guess you can burn anything. <clears throat> but you won't stay warm. They're, so, they're soft inside. It's uh, nothing you burn. Um, this tree, we don't know how old it was, but 100 years old, probably. 80 years old. Look at that beautiful tree behind it. So that's really unfortunate, but that's what they do. Just, just destroy. And uh, one of them, in fact, he was part of the Oregon crowd. He had a brand, and he went on branding everything with his brand. Signs indicating this is an area to be protected, stamped it on different uh, things that should be protected. I mean, this is sad. So I've tried to protect Gold Butte for a long time. And the reason we haven't been able to do anything to this point is that uh, Bundy Boys and his pals uh, kept everybody off that property. So that's why I'm grateful for the Antiquities Act. Because of this legislation and now the fact that the Bundys are all in jail, I'm going to reach out to the White House. No guarantee we'll get it done, that's for sure. Uh, to see if President Obama will protect this area. He has the authority, as any president does, to stop this sort of destruction and stop it now. Threats to our public lands are threats to our economy, our environment, and our culture. When we preserve our lands, we preserve America. And that's what we're trying to do, preserve this beautiful, beautiful place. I say again, is this worth protecting? Is this worth preserving? Of course it is. I yield the floor.